with winter temperatures of up to minus 40 degrees Celsius, Harbin City, the capital of Heilongjiang province, is also known as the Ice City. For nearly four months a year, Harbin is locked in snow and ice. Every year, thousands of tourists brave the cold to visit some of the world's best ice sculptures on display at the annual Harbin Ice Festival. Indeed, Harbin is not only about tourism. The city of Harbin contributes to nearly one-third of Heilongjiang province's economic output, making it the undisputed social, economic and cultural centre of the province. Harbin was a small town next to the Songhua River. The name Harbin came from the Manchu words for honour and fame. The Songhua River is one of the main tributaries of the Heilongjiang River which gave the province its name. Harbin is known as the Pearl of Songhua River. Since the mid-1980s, the annual ice festival has been captivating locals and tourists alike. The month-long festival starts in January. The ice sculptures are always the highlights of the festival. The variety of sculptures are getting wider, from those shaped like traditional ice lanterns to those using modern laser technologies. The Harbin Ice Festival now attracts millions of people a year. This makes it one of the world's best and largest ice festivals, on par with those held in Canada, Norway and Japan. The Besides the ice festival, Herbin's classical architecture is also an attraction by itself. It's a reminder of Russia's presence and influence from the past. Hence, Herbin is also known as the Moscow of the Orient. Herbin is increasingly important as a tourist city, with visitor numbers growing continuously. In 2005, some 18 million people visited Harbin, giving the city tourist receipts of some 1.5 billion US dollars. The city's relationship with neighboring Russia goes back a long way. In fact, the city of Harbin itself was founded by the Russians when China's Qing dynasty built a railway in cooperation with them a hundred years ago. With physical proximity and a historical affinity, Herbin is the natural marketplace for border trade between the two giant countries. Indeed, trade between China and Russia has been growing, and especially so in Heilongjiang. In 2005, border trade between this province and Russia hit 3.2 billion US dollars, 28% higher than in 2004. For China, it sells mainly textile and electronics goods to Russia. In return, Russia exports timber, oil and other chemical products. In the 1950s, the former Soviet Union was very generous in providing all kinds of technical assistance to China, then its fellow communist brother. As the nearest major city to Russia, Herbin had become one of the major industrial cities in China. The Herbin Power Plant Equipment Corporation, or Hardian, was the most important project in Herbin set up with help from the Russians. It was viewed as the country's lifeline. Today, Hardian is China's largest manufacturer of power generating equipment. It produces one third of China's equipment used in thermal power generation and half its hydroelectric power equipment. It also supplies equipment for nuclear power stations.
发电集团在水力发电上，应该说是全面的进入了和国际大公司的这样一个同样的这么一个行列。在火电上，就是我们讲的煤煤电上，我们有了就是超临界、超超临界、超临界是六十万的超临界和一百万千瓦的超超临界。今年中国第一台一百万千瓦的超超临界将要投产。嗯，这个也标志着我们又进入了一个最高层次、最高梯队。Not just contented being the number one player in China, it has set its sights far beyond China's borders. The company has been selling its products to countries like Pakistan, the Philippines, Iran, and even those in Africa. Recently, we also have. 北京的中信集团联合拿到了巴西的最大的一个火力发电电站的项目，是三十五万的基整个的交钥匙工程。这样，我们就从亚洲市场、非洲市场，一直到南美市场，还有澳洲市场。这样，我们将会作为一个按照国家要求，也是就做成一个。呃，具有较强国际竞争力的这样一个公司。The company's status in Herbin is equivalent to that of First Auto Works in Changchun. However, to the man on the street, another local company strikes closer to his heart, or perhaps more accurately, his health. <laughs>